Hey social networkers and welcome to the video for this week. I thought I'd do something a little bit different today and show you around my desk setup and the equipment I use. So let's get started. So the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the furniture. So I recently switched to this desk. It's an OmniDesk Pro from 2020. I absolutely love it. It's a sit-stand desk, it's an Excel. It is an absolute beast of a desk. Couldn't ask for anything better. The next thing that I want to talk about is the MacBook. So this is a MacBook Pro from 2020. It's a 13 inch and it's got the M1 chip. Very, very new technology. So it's taken a little while to get it all set up just while I was waiting for a lot of companies to catch up to this technology. But right now it's got everything that I need on it and it's absolutely running super, super smoothly. So couldn't be happier. Moving on to the monitor. So this is a Samsung 27 inch monitor. The actual model number is just up on the screen right now. This thing, it's great. I don't need anything fancy at all graphics wise or anything with this monitor it does the job it, it is what I need it's 27 inches nice and big and I also use my MacBook as my second monitor moving on to the monitor speakers so these are the Yamaha HS5s I absolutely love them they're absolute beasts when it comes to honesty if there is something wrong with my mix I will know about it and that's what I love about them so I mix all of my videos with it and they do so so well Moving on to the interfaces and onboard gear. So first up we have the Apollo Twin Mark II Thunderbolt 2. I absolutely love this thing. It's been a staple in a lot of people's setups for a long time and for very, very good reason. So I only record electric guitars, sampler, and sometimes keyboard with it. I don't do anything with mics, but it does have mic capabilities. What I do plug my mics into is this guy, the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 USB. Again, absolute staple of a lot of people's setups and it's a very very reliable very very compact and very very good interface uh, so what I actually do is I plug my mixer into it and then I run my mics into the mixer including this guy here which is the Rode NT1A so that's just an absolute classic uh, so many people have it and for good reason really really great mic I use it for all my acoustics and I use it for all my vocals it's absolutely fantastic. Moving on, so one of the most important parts and probably one of my favorite parts, at least right now, because it's brand new, is the Contact 61 key MIDI keyboard. I absolutely love this thing. I'm starting to really dapple into a lot of MIDI and getting control like this is absolutely premium to me. The onboard controls integrate super, super well with Ableton and I could not be happier with this purchase. It's amazing. Next up, we have my Akai MPX-8 sampler. So this thing I really, really enjoy. It's got some really, really nice percussive effects that I use when I don't have the VSTs available to me. It sits there, it's really, really nicely accessible. I absolutely love it. Arguably the most important part of my desk and probably the reason that everything works as well as it does is this thing here, my Elgato Thunderbolt 2 dock. This thing, if I didn't have it, I have no idea how my desk setup would work. It's got my HDMI, it's got my USBs, it's got my Thunderbolts obviously from the Apollo. It's absolutely beastly. It's the most important part of the desk by far. Last but certainly not least is my Line 6 Helix LT. So this thing, not technically part of the desk, but it is wired into the desk via the cables. I use this for all the electric guitar tones that you hear on my videos. I absolutely love it. It's such a great rig. Thanks so much for watching guys, really, really appreciate it. I'll be back next week with some more music and I'll see you on the other side.